going to take too long. But basically, I don't know if you've heard about this. It's like the state senators are trying to push through legislation, the like no texting and driving bill. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Are you familiar with it at I've all? I've been hearing about it. Okay. I don't know too much about it. Okay. It's really simple. So basically, if you're texting and driving, and it's not just teenagers now, but they can pull you over for if they like see you texting and driving, okay. and it's a $500 ticket. And then if you um, <laughs> or cause an accident while texting and driving, it's a $1,000 ticket. So that's basically. So is it passed? No. It's going. It's, they're trying to pass it. Okay. Okay. So we're covering kind of like how it's affecting, affecting Oxford and the university. That's why I wanted to talk to you. Right. So I have a couple questions. Um, so your video at the football games, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So you're promoting texting and driving. Like, how did you become involved in that? Well, um, actually, uh, Sarah LaSalle, they touched. Uh, they reached out to me. Uh -huh. They uh, brought the idea to me about uh, not texting and driving and. It was something that, you know, I used to do. And I was like, you know what, I really want to contribute to it. And they asked me, you know, uh, what will you bring to the table? How, how will you make people listen? And I told them, you know, with uh, the platform that I am at now, which, you know, uh, college, college athlete mm -hmm. onto an NFL athlete, I think people, you know, will, will listen because a lot of people look up to me. So mm -hmm. um, they kind of went along with it. Um, they gave me the freedom to uh, write the rap about not texting and driving. So you wrote that? And yes, I did. That's yeah, impressive. I did. Yeah, I did. So I wrote that up and came to Oxford, uh, shot it, and at first I didn't think it was going to be that much of an impact, but uh, a lot of people, you know, uh, I don't know if they're you know, t lying to me or uh, <laughs> or it's really changing lives, but they told uh -huh. me that, you know what, uh, they don't text and drive anymore after seeing the commercial. Right. So do you have any personal experience other than that you used to text and drive? Well, uh, I, I can say uh, texting and driving is very dangerous because you do take your eyes off the road um, and hands uh, off the steering wheel. And all of it all it takes is that one split second for a car to stop in front of you and you look up and bam, you you know, you're in an accident. So it, it takes away all, all concentration. A lot of people say they can do it or uh, think they can multitask, but it, it's really dangerous. Um. So you wanted to be a part of it, like is there a reason other than that you used to do it that you wanted to be a part of it? No, to, to really change lives, really, to, mm -hmm. you know, it, it can save a lot of lives, you know, because uh, you see, especially with the teenagers, like now, I'll be riding down the road and I'll see somebody texting and driving, I'll pull next to them, let the window down and tell them, <laughs> don't text and drive. And they're some shocked, of, just like, Dexter McCluster just told me to stop texting Some look, they'll look and like, is that texting? Well, I'm not sure if that's him or not, but. No, but some people, you know, know it's me, but I just, I like to do that every now and then. Yeah, that's funny. Um, so have you done anything else to demote texting and driving? Like, Well, um, the only thing was, as of now, was the commercial. Um, mm -hmm. Back in Kansas City, I went to uh, Coach Todd Haley, my head coach's mm -hmm. um, daughter's um, high school, and I spoke to pretty much the whole high school in the auditorium about not texting and driving, how dangerous it is, and a real believer of it, so mm -hmm. um, I've spoken at a, a couple of places occasionally, but as of now, it's just a commercial. But hopefully, we can make it bigger. Run it out. Um, so, what do you think about the bill? I agree with the bill. You know, um, I think it'll help people wake up. You know, five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. That's that's a lot of money. So, I think people uh, will stop if they think about the consequences, not only the money, but mm -hmm. the the uh, I would say the da dangers of it. And how do you think that the bill will affect Oxford and Ole Miss? I mean, uh, I mean, some people probably be upset about it. You know, five hundred dollars for text and drive a ticket, or a thousand dollars for a wreck. But at the end of the day, that's I think it's fair. You know, mm -hmm. um, it can save lives. You know, I, I think it's totally fair, and I totally agree with the bill. Um. So, what is your message to students then? My message is, you know, to just stop texting and drive. You know. That one text message can wait. It's not worth losing your life or, or uh, getting to a car wreck or taking someone else's life. Okay. Um, do you have any other like thing you want to say that I didn't touch on or I missed? Um, I don't know. I don't know if you want to add it in there, but you can tell that DMC personally is riding up the roads looking for texting and drivers, texting <laughs> and drivers, and I will let down my window and, and let them know not to do it. <laughs> okay. I won't give them a ticket. You won't give them a ticket, give but you'll let them know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I have for you. That worked. Yeah, Perfect. thank you so much.